So I was at the gym the other day and a friend of mine, we were talking in, in the locker room as we're getting ready to head out. And I said something about being tired and maybe kind of made a couple jokes about being a little overweight, need to hit the gym harder. And, and he made a comment about, Hey, I don't worry about it. You know, my dad was a little overweight. My mom was a little overweight. So I just, I know that I'm going to be a little overweight and it got me thinking. So I had to recruit my friend, John, John, thanks for jo uh, joining another episode with me because I got to bounce some questions off of you. I was thinking if my dad is overweight and my mom is a little overweight, does that mean that I am just going to be overweight or is it going to make it harder for me to be fit? I guess my question for you, and I'm counting on you to be able to answer this. I didn't even, I didn't even tell you what I was going to ask you, but what role does genetics play in me being able to be super fit or be a, a little overweight or, or what does that look like based on genetics? Do I have options? So that's a very good question. And I'm sure a lot of people can relate with this exact issue. So here's the deal. Your genes are not your destiny. Mm. They're more like a blueprint. They tell us what could happen, but not what will happen. So another thing in functional medicine that there's like a little saying that they like to say, and it's genes load the gun, but the environment is what pulls the trigger. So it, it's an incredible saying on so many levels, but basically like, think of it like this. Do you have a family history of heart disease? Okay. Uh, not, maybe not a lot, not a whole lot, a little uh, bit. I'm just saying you in general or, or, or the average person. Yep. Sure. Maybe, but think about what you eat. How do you sleep? How do you move? How do you handle stress? All of these factors are going to be much more influential than what your blueprint looks like because you're able to tailor your life to your practices that you do day in and day out. That is going to affect you much more than just what your predisposition was. So just keep that in mind. So at what point do I consider my genealogy, um, consider my heritage and pivot and make decisions or get out in front of things based on, you know, uh, what my parents and grandparents and, you know, predecessors, uh, what they experienced. Yeah. So I think this is a big fallacy in, in traditional Western medicine. So, you know, you go into your PCP, your primary care physician, and, you know, they go over your, your genealogy or, or, Hey, what did, what did your dad have? What did your mom have? And, you know, this is likely what you're to have, right? The issue they don't take into account though, is what are your habits? Like at the end of the day, that's what really matters. Sure. You can quote unquote, load the gun with certain genetics, but you're never going to pull the trigger. If you ultimately have different things in place, do you go to the gym often? What kind of exercises are you doing? Are you lifting heavy for longevity or are you lifting for muscle size by causing hypertrophy with lower weight, more reps? You know, there are different ways to lift for different end results. How's your sleep? Are you sleeping four hours a night? Are you getting into REM adequately? Are you able to go to bed at the same time every single day or most nights? How is your alcohol consumption? Do you smoke cigarettes? Are you, uh, you know, there's so many other variables here that come into play. How, how's your blood sugar? Do you know lab results? Are you taking labs and, and actually going with your data and figuring things out there? I think the labs are going to be much more crucial than some genetic marker. I mean, ultimately you can walk into the doctor. This is a perfect example. So you can walk into the doctor and get your blood pressure taken, right? And let's say you've got high blood pressure that day. And, you know, they're going to say, oh, well, we don't find any heart conditions. We don't see any real cause to this. So what did your parents have high blood pressure? Do, do you have a family history of that? You say, oh, I don't know. Sure. Whatever. But if you ask your primary care for, you know, and then they're going to say, oh, well, it must be genetic, right? But I guarantee you, if you turned around and asked your physician, oh, really, what marker can you say genetically is passed down from my family to me that's physically actually causing that high blood pressure? I guarantee you, if you ask them that question, they're going to stumble around. They're not going to have an answer because there is no marker that is passed down that causes that high blood pressure. It's your lifestyle. These are factors that you can control and you can pretty much control anything 
through your daily habits. So what I would get the viewers here and yourself also to understand, figure out the type of person that you want to be. What do you want your life to look like? What sort of healthy lifestyle do you want to have? Now, envision yourself as that person. What character traits do they have? How do they work out? How do they eat? How do they sleep? How do they meditate? How do they interact with people? What's their view of the world? How do they handle stress? All of these factors go into play and they are going to be much, much more crucial than just some genetic mark. Your genes is not your destiny. If you want to change your destiny, change your lifestyle. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. Well done. Guys, see you next episode. Change your lifestyle to change your destiny. If you're looking for answers, click the link below if you have questions about labs, data. John, I'm sure will help you out. Thank you, John. Thank you.